Why didn't Elizabeth come forward sooner? Well, you'll understand once you hear her story. Now, I advised her to be quiet. You had her sit on information that could help us in a multiple homicide investigation? My job is to protect my client at whatever cost. We're waiting for the ADA to show up. Have I made a mistake by turning myself in? You're doing the right thing, Elizabeth. I have to admit I had my reservations, but they've offered you immunity. I'm just afraid that they're going to take the deal back once they hear what I did. I'll keep you posted. Bye. Did the DA change his mind about the immunity deal? No, no, no. We, we are good here. The ADA is going to come in and take down the details of what happened with uh, Nicholas and Esme. Is there anything that could make the deal fall through? Yeah, if you don't give them what they're looking for. Hey, Scorpio assigned you Elizabeth Baldwin's case? He did. Nice. Where is she? Interrogation room. Hey, how do you think she got mixed up with Esme Prince? Hopefully Elizabeth will tell us that. Well, it shouldn't be a problem. It was her decision to come forward. Apparently she wants to tell us everything she knows. As you know, the DA and Mr. Baldwin have worked out a deal which grants you full immunity. You will tell us everything you know about Esme Prince's whereabouts during the hook killings. You and your attorney need to read over the agreement, sign and date where indicated. Do you understand? I've already looked at it. It's good. Looks good. This is Assistant District Attorney Lansing Davis. In the room with me are Detective Falconeri, Elizabeth Baldwin, and her attorney, Scott Baldwin. Elizabeth, uh, I assume you know where Esme Prince was hiding. Oh, she wasn't hiding. Esme was imprisoned by Nicholas Castine. It all started the night I ran into Esme on Pier 55. This was the night of November 11th. You saw Esme on the pier, called 911, and then you were found unconscious. Yes. Yeah, after I hit my head, I was, I was confused and disoriented, and but Nicholas was standing over me, asking me to trust him. And after that, I, I lost consciousness and woke up at GH. It did not tell Commissioner Ashford that I had seen Nicholas on the pier. Why not? Because <sighs> he was my friend and he asked for my help. I mean, later I got angry, like, why did he put me in that position? Why did he leave me on the pier? So I went to Windermere to confront him, and that's when I found out that Esme was there and pregnant with his child. And at the time, we both thought that she was the hook killer and dangerous, and Nicholas was terrified that she was going to hurt his unborn child, and that's why he was keeping her there against her will, to protect his baby, and to keep her from killing anybody else. Except that Esme wasn't the one doing the killings. 